While everybody's excited about Dogecoin hitting above 60 cents and Saturday Night Live with Elon Musk upcoming tomorrow, I don't think that's the real news story. What we should be looking at rather is Cardano or Polkadot number 7th and number 8th. You see Dogecoin is at number 4 and it might remain there, but even if it hits above a dollar, sure you're going to make a little bit of money if you have some money to blow. Polkadot and Cardano are the real winners. They have something actually behind the cryptocurrency. Currency, and they're both doing pretty well, but we're not going to be exploring the price and how much you would have made if you were holding. Currently, Cardano is priced at $1.61. Its all time high was today above $1.77. And over the past seven days, it's up 21.3%, while Dogecoin is up 95%. Polkadot is up 13.5%, with its 40.41 being at a decent price point, but its all time high is 20 days away. On April 17th, we hit above $48.36. Now, both of these are very interesting projects. Polkadot is a lot newer. It got listed last summer, and back then it was around 3 bucks. And if you sold at $40, not bad. But Cardano and Polkadot staking. This is what we should really be looking at. Not the prices, how much you would have made if you were holding on. Because if you had Bitcoin, if you had Ethereum, where you would have made a lot of money. But those who were holding Ethereum, Ethereum and were staking Ethereum could have made a lot more. Every single time, stakers have always had at least a few percent more in profits than those who are simply hodling Ethereum. The problem with Ethereum is it's quite expensive, and especially recently, it hit above $3,500, and nobody can afford, no normal sane person, if you're not taking any margin right now, unless you're a millionaire, you can't afford to stake Ethereum. It's currently at $3,473. It's up 26% over the the past seven days, so very similar to Cardano. But the main difference is Ethereum is three and a half thousand dollars, Cardano is just a dollar, and even Polkadot is only forty dollars. With Ethereum, you need you needed tens of thousands of dollars to stake before. Now it's in the six figures. You'll need at least thirty-two Ethereum to stake. That is thirty-two times three thousand five hundred dollars, a hundred twelve thousand. And even when Ethereum was at a thousand bucks, nobody had thirty-two thousand dollars just lying around. Now you heard the Ethereum minimum of 32 and you're probably going to be thinking well cardano since it's so low you probably need a lot actually you're wrong you only need 580a that's right just over five bucks now what about polka dot it's going to be a little bit harder being a nominator does not require running a node of your own or worrying about online uptime that's perfect most people aren't going to care about nodes in polka dot they don't use the term staking they use the term validators you can nominate a validator. It's also it's the same thing as staking. To become a validator, you need at least 350 DOT. So 350 times $41, $14,350 right now. It's a fair amount, but if you were staking Polkadot earlier, it was much, much less. You see, just on April 25th, Polkadot was $28.45. That's under $10,000 to stake Polkadot, which was one of the big winners of 2020. And on January 12th, it was only eight dollars they would only need two thousand eight hundred dollars to stake polka down now let's look at the statistics and this is where the numbers really get crunched looking at march's statistics the best staking rewards well polka dot was number one where you would get an average of 13.05 percent and in total they had 34.1 billion and at the time the market cap was 34.1 billion where ethereum's was at 206 billion and ethereum would only give you 7.96 percent which is still much better than anywhere else you could get it outside of cryptocurrency no bank is going to get you even close to that it's like a nice index fund return right there and cardano is at 6.97 percent so just behind ethereum with a market cap of 33.3 billion in april the best staking rewards will bnb is at the very top at 16.09 percent with a total market cap of 83 billion polka dot stayed around the same market cap 34.1 billion and it had 13.15 percent ethereum fell down a little bit to 7.54 percent with a 255 billion dollar market cap and cardano is very very close to ethereum with 7.23 percent and its market cap moved up to 39.1 billion now bnb i definitely recommend to a lot of investors i'm currently holding bnb myself and i'm making use of their
Trader Finance Earn platform by putting my BNB into a vault, but obviously there's better ways. I'm only getting like 4 or 5% APR. During the month of April, Cardano surpassed Polkadot in terms of total stake value. So Cardano had a total amount staked of $33,515,000 and Polkadot at $27,089,000. The total staked percentage of eligible tokens that are being staked in April, for Cardano it was 73% and for Polkadot that was 64%. And here are two informational graphics with Polkadot's biggest staking providers and Cardano's biggest staking providers. And notice how Binance has over $3 billion right there. Not a fair amount. I mentioned previously for Cardano and Polkadot how much staked value they had. It wasn't in the millions, it was in the billions. So $33.5 billion for Cardano and $27 billion for Polkadot. So for the average investor, if you want to stake in Ethereum but can't afford to, Polkadot and Cardano are very good options. Not only are you making money with it going up, but you're making money on top with even up to 13% with Polkadot. That's absolutely insane. Of course, Polkadot is the better of the two, but it's going to be more expensive. It's still not that cheap for the average Joe, but Cardano for five, six bucks, you're in. You can start staking and you almost get the same rewards as Ethereum does. Probably going to be approaching 8%, not too far away. So that's today's video. A lot of interest is in Dogecoin right now, but we have to look at more serious options. Have a great one. Let's get to 900 subs and see you guys tomorrow.